Pritha OC. Um, he made some comments and I wanted to respond. I'm going to read them off my computer when I wrote. I use the King James Version of the Bible. It is the proper Bible to use for English readers because it translates the ancient words accurately. You can use all sorts of tools to check ancient words in the scriptures against English translated words. You can also use Webster's 1828.com, I think it is, or Webster's Dictionary 1828. I think I'll, link, I'll try to remember to link it in the description, but uh, it's the 1828 Dictionary, which is probably the best uh, English dictionary, and certainly the one that I would use for understanding words in the 1611 King James Version. You can use all sorts of tools to check ancient words in the scriptures against English translated words. This is why knowledgeable Christians use the King James Version. It is a faithful, accurate translation. You were asking if springs means springs in the Bible. Yes. In my video, Five Questions for Atheists and Evolutionists, I mentioned the Bible saying there are springs of the sea, Job 13, Job 38, 16. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? And the point, of the, the, the point was that they didn't even know there were springs of the sea until 1965. And yet God is asking Job, do, have you, and hast thou entered into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? Because deep down there are springs. Um, so, Pritha, you're asking, you know, does springs mean springs? Yes. We also discussed Hitler and atheists claim he was a Christian. Hitler was not a Christian. People ought to stop watching silly documentaries or paying attention to public school or college curriculum. They are known to be filled with false information for at least two reasons. One, deliberately false info so they can manipulate people's beliefs about a variety of issues. Two, inaccurate due to outdated, incorrect information and they refuse to update. I find that very commonly. Hitler is infamous for teaching evolution. You have heard of this thing called the Holocaust? He committed mass murder in the name of evolution. He published a list of ethnicities of human and how he considered many to be near ape, predominantly ape, almost pure ape, etc. People can claim he was a Christian. All right, I'm Elvis Presley. I also am the most attractive man in all the existence of the world. I can fly like Superman. I can hear colors. I'm not an actor, but I play one on TV. Now you must take my word and not worry about whether there is any evidence for it. Simply believe me, because I say so. Just like Hitler was a Christian, P.S. Millie Vanilli were singers, anyone charged with a crime didn't do it, Bill Clinton did not have an affair, and Biden won the election. I am more familiar with Adolf Hitler than most people living today. There is fanciful, fake history pushed to the masses, and there is actual documented history which most people will never know because they only consume what is fed to them by their globalist masters. Seek actual historical facts. Forget most of the documentaries and go read facts from historical record. A well-made video with many unrelated images and video clips do not make the documentary claim valid. There's plenty of well-made flat earth videos. And they use all sorts of completely unconnected clips, video clips, images, uh, artifacts from the past that have absolutely nothing to do with what they're saying and they, they try to connect the two. Take the Civil War. It was not caused because of what they claim today. Read the diaries, governmental speeches, and newspapers of the day. Read the men's autobiographies. Nothing like what they claim today. You ask me what, my, what makes my interpretation that springs means springs right and others are wrong. How do I know my interpretation is correct and others is wrong? Because I do not have an interpretation. I use a faithful translation, not a, not a dynamic equivalent. So springs means springs. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent it to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, 
But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3, 16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 10, 9 to 10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.